you're missing a cheeseburger from McDonald's or fast food store, I've got the recipe for you. Hi and welcome to my channel. If you're returning and you've watched my tutorials before, welcome back. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. As you can see, we are posting lots and lots of recipes. As promised, I have a solution to your cheeseburger fetish or fast food needs. And today we are doing a keto bacon cheeseburger casserole. Yeah, you can pair it up with some lettuce, gherkins or some pickles. Let's get into that recipe now. To start off, we have got the oven going at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. I've set my burner to medium and diced up um, half a pound of bacon, which is 0.454 of a kilo. <laughs> And that's just browning up. Uh, I haven't added any oil um, because bacon's quite fatty, so we're going to try and release the oils from that because we're going to be cooking our other ingredients in that bacon fat. I've got my bacon to about a medium hue, that's how I like it. Um, but you fry yours to how you like it, and I'm just going to remove this from the pan now. Now that your bacon's removed, um, I've left my burners going and I'm using the same pan and I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef, that's 0.908 of a kilo. And to that we're going to add a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. And we're also going to add a half a teaspoon of onion powder and a tablespoon of garlic powder. Stir and break up the meat and let all your um, herbs that you just added combine and flavor your meat. Okay, once the meat has broken up, I need to let uh, the meat completely cook so it's got to be all browned so I'm going to close the pot now and let that cook for about five minutes and then give it another stir just to check that everything is cooked probably won't be so I'll let it go for another five minutes okay the five minutes are up and we've reached the halfway mark for our ground beef um, to cook um, if it's quite watery let it cook further for another five minutes with the pan uncovered. And I'm just going to give it a stir. And mine's quite watery, so I am going to leave it uncovered. I'm happy now that my ground beef is fully cooked. And what you're going to do now is just add your bacon back to the pan. Give it a stir. It smells good in here. <laughs> That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> and turn up the heat. And that part is done. Okay, now we're going to make the topping. And for that, you need to add eight eggs to a bowl. One cup of sugar-free salsa. And one cup of heavy whipping cream. I've got here uh, 12 ounces or 352 grams of cheddar cheese and in some countries called tasty cheese and we're going to add two thirds of that to our bowl. And whisk that together until your mixture looks even and it's fully incorporated. That's pretty good. All looks like it's one consistency and now we need to assemble our casserole we're just going to add our meat mixture 
first to our casserole dish. And you want to try and pack it in there because we are actually layering. And next is the custard. Well, <laughs> and spread that as well. Just to get an even casserole. I love how um, the red flecks from the salsa is showing through. And lastly, um, we've got um, that one third of cheddar that we set aside and we're just going to garnish with the cheese. That's ready now and we're going to pop it in the oven for 16 minutes. Mine went for about 20 minutes to get this uh, level of brown, but 16 minutes minimum, I would say. And you know, go longer if you like yours a little bit more brown. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and get to make keto bacon cheeseburger casserole. It's a bit of a mouthful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe and be well.